That's the break. Mackerel head. Try and get out as far as we can. For Mr. De Conga. Maybe one day we can do the Conga. No snags. It's quite amazing. Here we go. Sploshed out there. So sandy just down there. Down there, look. Isn't it beautiful? Look at this. Float fishing out there, look. Conga rod out there. So we got. Fish there, it's gone now. So, so I want to put you on the very big, and I want the thought, but. Never mind. That's what I was trying to do. Nice to meet you. Stay there, you silly thing. So, there you have it. Conga. Conga, it's a bit bigger that one. Oh! So, I think I've got a glove in here. I went to turn the camera on the fucking thing. That's per usual, it just catches you by surprise. Shit period of the tide and you don't think you'll get anything and then and you go and get one. Can't even find my glove. Right, let's try and put him back. Ah. Come on, 
Thank you go. Down he goes. This. Fish on, fish on, look at that. He's gone on the bottom though. Let's get up high. He's off, he's off, he's in the bottom. Good to take. Got to watch the other rod. <sighs> See, he's slacking off there. He's gone in the rough. A little sod. Yeah, it's a shame. Come on ever so briefly. Good take. It's conquer. But like you say, you sort of Right, so we're just ledgering a sand deal on the bottom at the minute, just holding the rod because it's easier. It's a short little rod anyway, so let's see if we get any taps. Getting plenty of taps on that big conga bait, but they're only just like little bait knickers. Feel the feel the kelp swaying around. We've had one fish anyway. Yeah, the taps there. It's the swell and the kelp and the same with this rod buffering around. But the weather's been reasonable today. Hey, Cornwall. Nighttime ideally, but you know, it's like, I mean, that's for like, I mean, yeah, if I was in my 20s, yeah, it's the sort of thing I'd probably do, but being a bit older, it's like, I've sort of been there and sort of done that sort of style of fishing, and it's like, you really want to come down with a mate if you're going to do that, but it's just 10 times harder in the dark, but. A lot of the bigger ones will be around at night. I've noticed just there's been the small congas we've been running into. But the big boys would be there at night, but can I be asked to catch them? No. No, I can't. We might get surprised.
Professor Knight. Still congruent. Really good take about an hour ago. It's just snagged up. Just snagged up. Oh, well, this is top of the tide. I must be. High tide. That's a bit better. No, oh, so low. So low. So it's too snaggy where we've moved to because the tide's cutting us off there. So I've got the stuff up here. But basically, I've decided because I know there's no snag, well, it's not too snaggy earlier on. I've just put the rod out there. So I'm just going to, if I do get a take, I'll just quickly run around there and play it on there and, and do it from there. But um, sometimes, you know, you think you can just move when you're rock fishing, but we've just moved into a load of snags. We had a really good take on here and he just went straight, straight in, the, straight in. Little Pollock. Tiny little Pollock. You, you know, you might as well do it sooner rather than later, because look at that, look. You'd be safe on there during the high tide, but... We're still pretty wild though. Still pretty hairy. It's Charlie's point. Just need a just need a bloody great conga now. So if you <laughs> think what it was like at low water, well look at it now. Look at it. I was gonna fish on there and wade through all this. Not a chance, not a chance. Look at that look. <laughs> Changed a lot. My rod's about to go for a swim. The seal out here early on. 